Today we will show you how to paint Human Ranger from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Den of Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Human Ranger from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. It's been painted by one of our painters, Agnieszka Sobczak, and narrated by Agnieszka Gotowicz. This tutorial is a basic level tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will go you through the painting experience. Enjoy! First, we will paint metallic parts. Take chainmail, silver, and with round brush size to paint swords, chainmail, front armor, and the details on the chest. As you can see, we are using air paint that originally is intended for a brush. This paint is more liquid than normal paint, which may be considered as its flaw, but air paints are very useful, especially for beginners, because they are easier to manipulate and they are still rich with pigments. Thanks to its liquidity, you don't have to use so much water while painting. So before you dip your brush in the paint, Dry it a little bit on the paper towel after wetting it with water for more controlled paint flow. Try also not to put too much paint on your brush so you will not overflow your model with it. While painting the first steps, you don't have to worry about overpainting other parts. After a short time, we will be able to easily paint over those places with other colors because acrylics dry very quickly, which allows us to repaint areas that we are not satisfied with. Try to paint with the tip of your brush. That's why also you have to control how much paint you carry on your brush. When you paint with your tip, the position of the brush makes it easier for the paint to flow down, so if you have too much paint on your brush, you can round down the model. Remember that it is always better to paint with thinner layers. Although you have to wait while the first layer is drying out to lay another one, our goal is to have visible details of the sculpture that brings the character of the model. And also, thanks to that, it is easier to check out our skills. Next, we will move for bigger parts. Take Parasite Brown and Round Brush Size 2 and start slowly painting the clothes. As we advised a moment ago, it is always better to paint with thinner layers and that applies especially for the bigger, flatter and smoother parts like coat. To achieve thin layer, mix your paint with water. Then, clean your brush and before you use the paint, dry it on a paper towel. Then, use your brush and with thinner paint, start to build your layer. After some time, when your paint is dry completely, you can add another one. There is no predetermined number of layers that you have to do. Just paint until you will not see the color underneath the paint, and the surface of these parts will be even and smooth. You can also use bigger brush or wide brush if that will make things easier for you. With this color, paint also the pens and the details on the gloves. Here you do not have to be that careful as with the coat, but still, while painting another set of models parts, try to avoid overpainting those that you painted previously. Acrylics are also the paints that they color depends a lot on the color of the surface underneath. So while building your layers, do not be surprised that the color of your layer is lighter or darker than you expected. It is very dependable on the color of your undercoat.
Next, with Luftwaffe Camo Green and Round Brush Size 2, we should paint the vest. Here also try to use the tip of your brush rather than its side, especially that the vest is surrounded by other parts and we have to carefully manipulate our brush to paint this part from every angle. Now it is time for the skin. Take cork brown and round brush size 2 and carefully paint the face of the model. Of course, here is also the case that we want to achieve smooth surface, so we advise you to paint with thin layers. Sometimes the texture on the surface of the model may be a good artistic choice, but with human skin, the smoother the better. Next, our hair. Take black color and with the same brush that we use on face, paint it evenly. With Beastie Brown, we will paint the gloves, boots and the belt. For now, this color may seem not very different than Parasite Brown that we use on the rest of the clothes, but later we will add some effects that will change the tone shade of those places and the slight difference between those two colors will appear to be very important. It's time for wash. Take dark grey and round brush size 3. Dip your brush in the wash and generously use on metallic parts of the model. Then clean your brush with water, dry it out on the paper towel and take the excess of the wash from the places that may have too much of it. 
we want to have deep shadows on the model, but too much wash may also cover the details and also make our model look dirty. By washing, we can also mark the gaps between the segments of the models, and thanks to that, make them more visible from the distance. Wash is a very quick and easy technique for the beginners, but it is also the best for small parts with a lot of details, folds and cracks. If you would want to wash bigger parts like our coat on this model, we recommend other techniques that will allow you to create shadow. Wash on big and flat surfaces is very tricky and thus difficult to control. It may finish up looking dirty with streaks and stains. For washing or black lining we do not have to use only washes. Inks are very helpful too. So take sepia ink and with round brush size 3, repeat the wash technique on brown parts of the model, gloves, boots and belt. We will use it also on his skin. Now for some details, take tinny tin and paint with it the hilt of the sword. While painting small parts, it is very important to have the right balance of water paint mix. Too much water and the paint will not attach itself to such small surface and will run down the model. So try not to add too much water while painting the details. And always use the tip of the brush. Now let's paint the base with chaired brown. Here you can relax because all you have to do is just to paint the surface of the base. Next, take light brown and prepare yourself for glaze. Mix your paint with water so it will be half transparent. Next, clean your brush, dry it on a paper towel and create a layer of color on the surface of the coat. Thanks to the transparency of the paint, you can steadily build the tension of the color. While painting, 
Focus your brush strokes on the places that the light hits directly on the surface. Of course, you can choose your direction of light however you want. The light may fall from the up, from behind, or from the side of the model. However you choose, just remember to highlight your model accordingly. Now let's highlight the skin. Mix cork brown with aged white in 1 to 1 ratio and with that mix mark the most important features of the face, cheekbones, chin, bridge of the nose, eyebrows and forehead. Next, change your color for neutral gray and use lining to mark the lights on the hair. This time use more of the side of the brush. Because of the shape of the hair, it will be easier to create thin, even line that will follow the strings of the hair. Next, take silver and with glaze and lining, paint highlights on the metallic parts. And again, we will use a brush paint that is more liquid so you don't have to use water to make paint more fluid. While lining, choose the side to paint the line according to the direction of light that you chose. If you decided that your light comes from the top, paint only the upper line of the segments. One of the last steps is for us to return for base and to dry brush it with flat earth. Dry brush is also a very easy technique, so you will quickly catch up with it. Take white brush, here we have white brush size 6, and dip its tip directly in the paint. Do not use water because according to its name, dry brush is a technique when we are painting with the dry hair of brush. So dip your brush into the paint, then wipe it out on the paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, you are ready to begin. Take your brush and start to brush the base of your model with quick movements. It will leave a delicate highlight on the base. And for the last, we will paint the eyes in three steps. First step is to mark shadows with black paint. Take small round brush and paint the circles in the eyes areas.
Then take white paint and mark the eyeballs. After this, take the smallest brush you have and mix your black paint with more water so it will be more fluid. Then carefully paint small dots in the center of the eyes as pupils. If you guys like this painting tutorial, I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too, so tag us, then of imagination, in your social medias and share your results with us. And meet me in the comment section. See you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.